El puente parecía muy viejo y era muy alto. Y el barranco era muy profundo. Thomas oía el ruido que hacían las rocas al caer en el barranco. Estaba un poco asustado. Me gustan los puentes altos, pero este es demasiado. Si avanzo resoplando lentamente, llegaré hasta el otro lado en un abrir y cerrar de ojos. Resolló con valentía. Y rueda que te rueda. Thomas se acercó al puente. Soy valiente, soy fuerte. Llegaré al embarcadero y tendré mucha suerte. Resoplaba para sí mismo. Thomas estaba en la mitad del puente. Cada vez oía más y más alto cómo las rocas caían. El puente comenzó a sacudirse y vibrar. Thomas estaba muy asustado, pero quería llegar al otro lado. En ese momento Thomas oyó un estrépito. La mitad del puente que estaba delante de él se desprendió. ¡Santos carbones! exclamó Thomas. ¡Debo regresar al otro lado! Estaba muy asustado. Thomas comenzó a andar marcha atrás. Resoplaba lenta y cuidadosamente. Pero entonces oyó otro estrépito. Un gran trozo del puente roto cayó al barranco. Con el resoplido más grande de su vida, Thomas retrocedió marcha atrás hasta llegar a la ladera de la colina. ¡Estoy a salvo! exclamó. Justo en ese momento, la última parte del puente crujió y cayó en lo profundo del barranco. Thomas se asomó y vio el puente caído. ¡Abandonen el lugar enseguida! ¡La mina se está por derrumbar! ¡Tenemos que apurarnos, Percy! Gritó el maquinista. ¡Se viene la avalancha! Lloró Percy. Y tenía razón. Peor aún, las vías por las que viajaba comenzaron a peligrar. Luego, Percy recordó algo que había visto antes. Al lado de las vías hay una barrera de lona. Tal vez eso nos salve. Llegaron justo a tiempo. Percy tenía razón. La lona nos salvó. I was on my way back down the line again. When I noticed something worrying up ahead. That campfire looks pretty big. Oh! Fizzling fireboxes! Ranger Jill! There's a bushfire spreading through the rainforest! Oh, thank goodness you're here, Thomas! We need to get to safety down on the coast! Are the animals going to be okay? Most of them will be able to get out of the forest, all right. But what about the koalas? They're so slow. We'll pick them up along the way. Wait! Where's the koala with the little white beard? I saw him this morning at the water station. Oh, that's Banjo. He's not here. Oh, no. Poor Banjo. I'll find him. <laughs> be careful, Thomas. It could be dangerous. Banjo! Banjo! Oh, the water station. I'm coming, Banjo! I don't want to blow my whistle and scare him off. Oh, I know. Grab that branch. Come on, little Banjo. This way. You can do it. Now let's get you to safety. I'm so glad you're 
Emily headed back down the steep hill again. But then there was trouble. big storm raged across the island. Cranky and the engines were trapped at the docks. We're sure to be safe in this shed, said Duck. But he was wrong. The engines had no idea they were about to be put in great danger by an old tramp steamer. It was out of control and running aground straight into the sheds. Call the engines from inside the shed. I can't! Called Cranky. Suddenly, Rusty noticed something. Boulders moving. Don't be so daft. It can't, said Rusty's driver. But it could. It's rolling along our line. We'll stop here until Boulder passes by, said Rusty's driver. But Boulder was nowhere to be seen. Suddenly, oh no, it's behind us! Just ahead they saw a small junction. One line went uphill. Boulder thundered past. Meanwhile, Scar Lowy was making his way up to the quarry. Then he saw Boulder. Yikes! Boulder was catching up to them fast, but they veered into a siding. We must warn the yards, shouted Scar Lowy. Yes, but how, called Rusty. Boulder rounded a bend and there ahead was Reneus. It's running loose, yelled Reneus. His driver drove him back as fast as he could. Yikes! Rather a smash than a squash, sighed his driver. It's no good, Ben. I'll have to try again on my own. Lucky charm or no lucky charm, Bill and Ben need my help. So Percy was coupled up to Ben and he started to pull. Then the fat controller arrived, just in time to see little Percy pull Ben to safety. Hooray! Ready? Go! Watch out! shouted Alfie. But it was too late. Max broke the water supply pipe. Water gushed everywhere. Suddenly, Alfie was sinking into a muddy hole. 
Help! He cried. I'll get him! Clattered Jack. No! Shouted the foreman. You'll get stopped too! A workman shut off the water. But there was no way Alfie could get himself out. Byron! Miss Jenny cried. Can you help Alfie? I'm coming, Alfie! He shouted. Byron could see Alfie was sinking in the mud. Grab my blade, called Byron. Alfie reached out. I can't reach it, he cried. Careful, Byron, shouted Miss Jenny. Careful, you'll sink too. But Byron inched closer and closer. And closer. Miss Jenny was worried. I've got it! shouted Alfie. Hold on! cried Byron. Come on, Byron! Kelly whispered. Byron struggled and pulled and strained. Byron pulled Alfie to safety. Alfie was happy to be out of the hut. The foreman looked inside again, and he was surprised. There's a mother cat in here, and she's got kittens. We must rescue them, said Alfie. The building isn't safe, said the foreman. I can't send my men in there. I'll go, said Alfie bravely. I'm small enough to fit in. In no time, Alfie wriggled inside. The building creaked and plaster flew. Alfie held up his scoop for the cat and kittens to jump in. Here, kitty, kitty, Alfie coaxed. But the cat and kittens didn't move. Suddenly, the upper wall started to crumble. Hurry, kitty, kitty, Alfie cried. But it was too late. Quick as a wink, Alfie covered the cat and her kittens with his scoop. And just in time. Meow, meow said the cat. Meow, meow, said the kittens. Phew, said Alfie. Skip, stop! But I can't! I can't! Give up a timbers! You never give up, do you? Here, let me drop it for you! Ah! Ah, scupper that! <laughs> so long, Thomas! It's been a blast! Thomas, look out! Hey, Thomas! Try again! Derail me! Treachery! Mutiny! I won't stand for it! I'll have you in the dry dock, Skip, and take away your tail! Oh, oh no! Help! Skip! Goodbye, Thomas! <laughs> I'll always treasure the good times! Thomas tried to race off to find Luke, but then there was trouble. His wheels were too big for the narrow gauge tracks. Oh dear! Whoa! 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 Oh no! Thomas was in danger. to push you off now, just like he did with that yellow engine. Oh, no. Everyone waited. Everyone watched Luke. Thomas! Thomas! Don't worry. I'll pull you back.
back to Owen. Huh? Trust me, I can do this. I'm your friend. Doubling tracks. Whoa. Hold on, Thomas. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Luke felt strong, stronger than he had ever been. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, you don't. What? Go, team. down, Thomas! No! Thomas! Look out! Help! Oh, my front wheels! I'm melting! I'm melting! Oh, Hurricane! What should I do? Frankie! Stop the shit! Don't let it go! This is an emergency! Captain was able to stop his ship before Cranky was pulled off the docks. Oh. Oh. I told you I had it. You. On, 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 they yelled. Toby was away with the truck screaming and yelling behind him. No one realized that melted snow had turned a stream into a torrent and the bridge above it was about to collapse. The rails were now like a tightrope across the thundering water. Stop! Stop! cried Toby. His driver fought for control. They came nearer and nearer to the bridge. The driver braked hard. Toby stopped, still on the rails, but with his wheels treading the tightrope over the abyss. Toby was halfway across the bridge when disaster struck. called Toby. We'll follow him on our line. It meets the river further down. As Toby
Toby floated helplessly on the floodwaters, they passed a sign that made them shudder. Beware the waterfall. If we go over that waterfall, we're doomed. Then they saw Harold, who swooped low and shouted urgently to them. We're going to drop a rope to you. Attach it to yourself, quickly now. And they did, to one of Toby's buffers. Just then, Percy arrived. Harold flew over to him. Catch the rope and pull Toby to safety, he called. Toby was safe at last.